I believe it's time to move beyond this discussion of uh, DNS and IP addresses and all of those kind of things. In, in principle, this has evolved now over some 30 some odd years. I've taken a very strong position that what we ought to be doing is allowing research to flourish virtually any place in the internet. Uh, I've taken the position that nothing we should do should cause the internet to fragment. And there are a lot of steps that we can take that will cause that to happen. But I really think the future for us is in the issue of managing information in the network. Nobody cares about just moving bits for the sake of moving bits. We're not in the shipping business, presumably. It's because you want to cause some action to be taken. You want to access some information. You want to manage something. There's, it's always about an end function. Um, the area that I've been work, working on myself very diligently is on a generalized architecture for managing information that was an attempt to supersede the original architecture of the internet, which is just about moving bits. And so I think in, in that particular architecture, which I call the digital object architecture, virtually all the information on the net is in the form of a digital object. And that's what we're dealing with. And with that kind of formulation, everything that we deal with in the world of the internet today can be viewed in digital object space. It's not only the content, which obviously people can think of as a digital object, but every router could be viewed as a digital object. Every part of network management can be viewed as digital objects. And the only thing that, that's really intrinsic about a digital object is that it has to have a unique persistent identifier. 